Well, it's been long overdue. After over a year, the DCFL is back. As the reason why it took so long was because last season we did remember on Professional Football Simulator. But after that season, I decided, nah, I'm not going to do it again. Especially since there's so many different team players, um, owners showing up and changing. It just wasn't going to work. So I had to remake all the teams on American Football Simulator. But then the big problem happened. The schedule. And oh my god, the schedule literally held us up for like the last seven months. Because there were so many um, like, um, errors with it and conflicts that I had to remake it over and over and over again before finally getting it right. So that's why DCFL has taken so long to come back. But we're still going to do the 2021 season a year late. So anyways, there are some changes though this year. First off, the Mexico City Bolts, which was a team that was founded last year, have been decommissioned as their original owner left before the season started last year because it took so long to get all set up. So they were replaced by a new team run by Carno who has joined the league. And they are the Tacoma Slashers as they are in the Western Conference as we kind of technically have two teams in that area because remember the Seattle Tenure from Mayumi since Tacoma and Seattle are very close to each other. So two teams very close to each other in the Western Conference would be pretty interesting to say the least. Can't wait to see how they're going to do this year as a whole brand new team and all that. But, how is the schedule going to be, is a question. Welp, here is the schedule for the 2021 DCFL season. And here it is, the 2021 DCFL schedule. As, of course, it's doing the exact same formula as I've done the last two years or so, where... It alternates between a divisional opponent, then an outer conference opponent for the first several weeks before becoming divisional round ones. And of course, the um, outer conference matchups, the locations are rotated from the previous year. So yeah, here is the schedule, and I'm hoping to very soon begin the season, and hoping to do it as quickly as possible, that way we can catch up to 2022 to get that season underway. So I hope you're all looking forward to seeing the DCFL come back, as I am too. So see you guys soon for week one.